Good morning guys and welcome back. So this is going to be the third part of the Jurassic World JK build. Now there's a couple things I wanted to go over that I've been doing in the background. Show you guys how I kind of stuffed up the stickers we did in the last video. If you guys haven't seen those, go back and watch them. I'll leave them just up here so you guys can watch them. But doing a few things in the background that I think it's going to tie everything together. Make the JK look a little bit more classic and a little bit more Jurassic Jeep esque if you will and a few things I'm going to do to I want kind of want you guys opinions on it if it looks good or not I'm, I'm a little bit biased I think I'm going to go with yes but I can't want your opinions if it looks more Jurassic styled or not I'm leaning towards yes because I think I like the look of it more so but if you guys got any other suggestions leave in the comments below I'd love to hear you guys ideas if you guys are liking this build process other things you'd recommend that I do or go over in more detail or just things that we can do to make it more look more like a Jurassic Jeep. Um, I have had confirmation that the other stickers we are doing for the lines are in Sydney at the moment. It's taken almost uh, two months to come into the country. Back and forward with the USPS um, and AusPost. Well, USPS were saying that they're in Australia. AusPost was saying they're not in Australia. Don't know. But let's get started. Let's get your opinions on what we should be doing. Uh, how we should be doing it um, and if you guys like what we have been we are at the front of the Jeep at the moment so if you, as you guys know we've got the solid front bar which is the factory bar behind the plastic plate for the Australian and European and New Zealand Jeeps normally it's got like this ugly big plastic piece here anyway so from factory ish um, the number plate will be in the center but with the American styling and the American and the Jurassic Jeep sorry the number plates are off center to the left hand side so the actual bolt holes for the number plate like somehow lined up absolutely perfectly like I think it looks pretty cool, looks more classic key, looks more Jurassic Park-ish um, I don't mind in the center but I like it, it's a little bit different every other car like my wife's car, every other car on the road has it centered and I think it looks more classic, more Jurassic Park themed of it on the left hand side now I'm not going to get one of the Jurassic Park license plates, I might redo this one you can get like different styles, they've got like dinosaurs and stuff uh, but still like a Queensland number plate but I think it looks a lot better just off centered uh, more Jurassic Park-ish next thing for the front bumper is obviously we repainted it, it was like a raw steel we repainted it same as the rear, um, we'll get to that in a second uh, but I did have a plastic uh, shroud piece that went over here it came on the bumper which is this piece here now it's just plastic and obviously with the Jurassic Park Jeep it didn't have a plastic part there but you see how all the chassis rail um, and stuff are open I think it looks a lot more classic a lot more clean with it exposed um, I have gone over it all tidied up all the little rust spots um, repainted all same as I did the bumper but I think it looks a lot better open and may get a winch or something in the future to kind of tie with that Jurassic Jeep look um, but I think it looks really cool nice and open um, exposures of those chassis rails which I think it just looks a lot more classic um, but let me know what you guys think I think I like it open as you can see you can see the chassis rails everything down there um, get some better angles let me know what you guys think I think it looks a lot more classic um, like the Woolies Jeep how it just had the exposed chassis rails and just that one plate across the front let me know what you guys think now starting on the back um, from factory in Australia um, I think you guys in America have these on the JK's as well but we've got these ugly plastic bumpers and we've got like little I don't know if they're reverse size turn signals what they are um, but we had the number plate mounted on there so I hated that it was crap let's be fair it looks like art it looks like ass to be fair um, and didn't go along with the Jurassic Jeep build with the Jurassic Jeep it's got like a a plate, I think it's a plate or just like the raw chassis rail with those loops so what we've done um, I kind of want your, your guys opinion on this as well on how we can build it how we can attach those like little loops I think those little loops on the back of the JK look pretty cool um, I can find them they are for like the YJ so you can buy them like $34 for a set of two as you can see we've Remove the plastic rear bar and now we've just got exposed 
chest your arrows. It looks pretty cool, I must admit. Um, and then we got a number plate relocation bracket that matches the YJ or the um, American Jeeps. Um, it's been relocated up there. Doesn't really fit too bad because our number plates are bigger than yours. Don't ask me why, I've got no idea. Um, but my thoughts <coughs> on the rear bumper is make up a little plate. It would actually cover these chassis rails because I'm not sure if these are illegal or not. Um, could be. Um, if you guys know, let me know in the comments. But I want to make a plate to actually cover across there. Then I can actually bolt those hoops. Here's a photo of it if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. But actually bolt those hoops onto the chassis, or not the chassis, but that plate itself. That way it will stay illegal, or how it is now it is illegal. Um, but it will make it look, look a lot cleaner if I can actually bolt those hoops. If you guys don't know the hoops I'm talking about, here's a little preview of what I'm talking about. Um, I think, well, I don't know what that was. I think they look pretty cool, they're really clean. Um, but I painted the chassis rail with this stuff from Super Cheap Auto, metal cover. Had a little bit of rust in it um, that I've just tied it up, but it's in gloss black. I did the front and rear in that. Makes it look a lot tighter and stuff. So, next thing and final thing, which I think is going to look pretty cool. Um, as you can see, I've removed the cowl and I've actually installed a little loop there. That loop was actually in the back of the Jeep, that little tie down um, for the rear cargo area. So, what my process or what my thought process is, is I want to mount the recovery tracks on the bonnet. And I think that's going to give it a real military slash overland feel to it, I guess, um, if you will. Let me know what you guys think about them being mounted on the bonnet. So different. I did have them mounted up on the roof racks, but I've made room for the shovel and the paddleboard to go up there. So I was looking for a different spot for the recovery tracks. So what do you guys think? Leave them there. So my thought process behind these, well they are exit tracks, um, if you guys are wondering. I think that's just going to look so cool, especially with the Jurassic Park styling of it. Or Jurassic World. I think it's just going to give it a much more... What's the word? What word am I thinking about guys? Off-road adventure something that's a bit more updated than the Jurassic Park for the Jurassic World movie I think in the Jurassic World movie that's probably where they would have mounted them anyway or on the sides but I think on the bonnet would look really cool oh the other thing I did as well was before we continue was make up a little Jurassic World uh, rear view mirror uh, sticker if you remember back into the Jurassic Park thing a little preview for you guys if you don't remember uh, I made my own one up, uh, number 10, because it's a 2010 Jeep Wrangler. I thought that'd be a nice little add-on piece. So all I did was get the Jurassic World one, uh, go into Photoshop, change it to Jurassic World, Jurassic Park one, and change it to Jurassic World, um, and just delete the number that was on there, and just add number 10. Print it off at work, and just laminate it. So if you guys are looking at doing your own one, I think you can buy them offline, but not Jurassic World, just Jurassic Park ones. Pretty cheap, simple idea, doing it that way. Um, so back to recovery tracks. Um, the tracks will be sitting on the actual little bump stops there. And then with that loop I've just done to the cowl, I'll just have a strap going over to that, tie it down, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Would it look cool? I'm not sure. I'm just going to run it for a bit, see how I like it. Just let me know what you guys think. Um, other than that, so let's chuck that on, uh, bolt that back up. You guys can have a look at it full or strapped down um, and let me know what you think. So I'll just chuck you guys on the tripod, we'll get that all strapped down. Let's see how we like it. Pretty much how they were sitting as before. I've buttoned all that up. I might flip that around so it actually faces that way so it gets a tighter uh, pull. And just so it doesn't rest on the paint, I'm gonna just put a little bit of mirror carpet. I mean, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Might put like a little bit of vinyl wrap down there. Um, if that's what I want to do, 
a long period just so the carpet doesn't get all yucky in the rain. A little bit of vinyl down there would be good. So let's chuck it through. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's. Wrap it up. And we are done. Why well, you not getting like a black one of these? It doesn't look too bad, but you can tighten that a bit tighter. Uh, that's like not too bad. Obviously there could be like a little bit a bolt or something that would go through um, a little plastic part down there to make that a little bit stronger. But that's not too bad. Let me know what you guys think. I think it looks pretty cool. Something different, something unique, something but different. Um, original, it's not, I'm not original of this idea. I saw this on Instagram, like in a Volkswagen van. They were doing overlanding and like had a mean camera paint job, everything like that. And they had their recovery tracks bolted to the bonnet. But just like simple, different. And it looks, I think it looks pretty cool. It looks different. And it's just bolted to there. Straight over. Pretty simple, clean. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like guys like that idea or not. I might change it up. Leave it on, see what my field of vision and stuff is. But if you guys like this video, like the actual small little details, like the rear bumper setup. Have you guys got any ideas for the rear bumper and how we can make that pretty cool? Let me know in the comments. As I said, I'm happy to kind of leave it like that, but I'm just not 100% sure if it's going to be legal or not. Um, and I'm really excited for the other stickers to turn up for the lines coming down there um, and the lines that will be coming down there as well. Be as again with the recovery tracks. Just saying, a bit different something unique uh, as we're not following along with the Jurassic Park theme to detail um, it's nice to kind of put your own little spin on stuff uh, make it a little bit unique a little bit different but if you guys like this video I like these series um, about the Jeep builds this is part three I think I'm not, I'm not sure how many parts it's going to be but if you like these videos smash that uh, like button if you haven't already smash the like button heaps more videos coming up also got Grey Topless Day in May coming up which is going to be awesome hopefully we can get those other stickers on before then awesome but if you like like the stuff like the video subscribe all that good stuff um let me know if you guys got any other suggestions things you want me to go over a little detail stuff anything i missed anything i can do to make it more the jurassic park world jeep-esque that'd be awesome but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time